Hey guys, Grimey here. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and make a Let's Play video for Edge of Space. I'll make probably a series out of this. Um, and I had a couple requests to do this, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Um, Edge of Space is a relatively new game. It just got um, greenlit. It's on Steam now. And you can buy it for, I think, $10. So um, if you go to Steam and check it out, it's just Edge of Space. So yeah, um, I know this isn't a new world. I've actually been on this world for a little while, but not really old either. So um, I thought I'd go ahead and start it on this one instead of starting from scratch. So I needed to work on this world anyway. So yeah, let's go and get started. Um, well, Edge Space is it's a 2D sandbox game, and it's kind of hard to um, actually <laughs> say what type of game it is because Actually, a couple of people and I were having a chat about this on the forums the other day, and um, because there's a lot to do in it, other than just the typical sandbox game where you craft and you know all that stuff when you just build, you can do quite a lot. And again, the game's in beta right now, so I mean you're not going to have all those final updates quite in yet. So um, for now, it's it's um, missing a couple things, but um, they promised a lot, and the game's looking very promising. So, yeah, um, if you're interested, you can also check it out online at playedgespace.com. I'll put a link in the description. So, yeah, sorry, waiting for the night to finish. Um, I don't have a bed, obviously, so I kind of have to sit here, and I don't think they've actually added sleep yet. They will soon, I know. Pretty hard work. Oh, um, I'm sure when you see this tep tech upgrade waypoint. So in the game, you can have, you have different tech upgrades that increase your character's energy or health or other things, honestly, too. So you can check them out here, and they give you different items. I've only gotten the first weapon upgrade here, so it shows you what they give you. They, some of them give you different um, schematics as well. Because the crafting in this game requires to have a schematic for things. So, like, if I want to craft, I don't know, let's pick something random. A crafting bench. Well, this one comes um, when you spawn, but if it didn't, you'd have to get the correct schematic from a chest or something like that to be able to craft it. And then you still have to gather the supplies. The crafting in this game is very, very, very interesting, and it's, I love it too. So, um, to get a lot more information on it, again, you're probably going to have to check out the website. I don't want to explain it because I don't want to explain it wrong. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so feel free to check out the website. I definitely suggest this game too. They're working really hard on multiplayer right now. It's actually not, still not in. Um, soon I will be putting up. Or when multiplayer gets put in, I'm gonna try to put up a couple multiplayer videos. Oh, there's that. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and walk around the game a bit. We're planning on doing a bunch of mining, but that's kind of boring, so probably won't do that while recording. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to do some, a lot of Let's Plays for this because it's a really fun game and it'd be interesting to track it while it's developing. I've been playing since uh, the Kickstarter days, so it's been really a ride to be able to watch from whenever they had literally, I played when they literally had just like three blocks, like just had this stone, some dirt, and maybe something else, but I forgot, maybe air, that, that, we'll count that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been really interesting to see all this develop, and now the game has complex, you know, Crafting engines, kits, armor, stats, it has everything in it. It's a really fun game. Um, they have, they have, um, they are adding bosses, so I don't exactly, none are released yet, but I don't know all the details about that. They've hinted at a couple. Um, and for all, for everyone who thinks it looks like Terraria, it does share graphic qualities with Terraria, I would say that, but, the gameplay itself is very different, and I mean, even if it's a 2D sandbox, it doesn't mean that it's like all the other 2D sandbox. It's like saying every 
3D sandbox game is like Minecraft, and they're not. So, um, I mean, all all games have their own unique unique identity. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. But um, on the Terraria topic, they are doing crossover content with Terraria. I'll put a link to the Steam page where they did a teaser video for that. And it's really looking good. Oh, jellies. Get away from me. They don't actually hurt me, but they steal my energy, and I don't I kinda want my energy. I see all these plants growing. The latest update was the um, atmosphere update, I think. And they're trying to add more little plants. So they have been growing now. And now I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna show you guys the crafting system a little bit too. Let me fix my house. This is by the way the um the cyropod. So this is where you spawn and you have as many lives as you put cyro rods in. So you can count them up here too. So if you die with your cyro rods, you don't lose anything. But if you die without cyro rods, you lose all your items. And it's happened to me before and it's not fun. But you lose you don't lose your armor or anything. As you can see, I still have some limited armor on here. I just don't like the helmet. It's kind of funky. So we'll take it off. Anyway, so yeah, I'll go ahead and crack some ammo and show you guys what that was like. So let's see. I think that's under tools and weapons. Ammo. This happens to actually be pistol ammo. Yeah, pistol ammo. Okay. So the crafting's really interesting. So you get your supplies. And it uses, um, I've talked to one of the devs, and it, he told me that it's, like, whenever he created this, he wanted it so that you didn't run out, like, supplies were always useful to you. So, like, you got, you, if you got a big pile of dirt for some reason, that could be very useful to you, like you just saw there. I just crafted ammo. So, everything stays useful in this game. Anything from titanium and aluminum, aluminum to dirt and rock, you'll be using throughout the entire game. So it's really important that you manage to keep a good amount of resources near you or find good areas with better resource energy because you're going to need it. Because the, the world, this game is one of the most intense survival games that I've ever played. I mean, the world, the mobs, especially at night, can get very tough. And the world itself is big and kind of hard to travel around. So you definitely it's definitely a challenge. And but the game is changing a lot too, so they also are missing some things. But um you know it'll be time it, it'll take time, but um you'll get the hang of it when you really start playing it. But um yeah, the game's really fun to play. Uh let's see. I thought I did down here. I'm gonna, can't really get to the tech upgrade. Kind of far down. I might just stay out at night um, while I'm videoing so I can show you guys some of the other mobs. The ones, mobs in the day are kind of easy. Uh, the jellyfish don't serve much of a threat unless you're falling, because then they're evil. But um, there's a lot more out at night, so. Definitely show you that. Um, let's see. What else talking about this base? Not much. Playing, I'm just going mining. I'll show you a little bit of that. I I've, I've been mining without torches to save resources, obviously. So I'll show you what I've been doing. I've just been digging this back pile out the whole way down. So it'll take a little bit. The pickaxe is really unique, and I love it. It's the laser pick, as you can see. Each of these blocks get that fire on them, and that's heat. So, like, I can touch this block right here, let it sit for a little bit, and touch it again, and it'll still work. So that helps because you can just kind of sway back and forth to mine like that. So it's a lot. It's a really fun game mechanic to play to to play with too. So yeah, um, yeah. So. Um, I'm hoping soon multiplayer will be back out because it's definitely fun to use. Um, and I'm hoping that Terraria uh, crossover content comes out soon. 
too, because there's a awesome video about it. I've already mentioned this, I know. You know make sure to link you guys to that. But um, I'm gonna smile a little bit. I'll probably play a little bit during the night. Probably cut the video when I die. <laughs> Let's see. So these are some of the kits as well. You spawn with a basic crafting kit and a rusty spare energy core. So you can keep your kits down in here. And later you get better kits that give you either better um, boosts, like my energy re regen is a lot better now. Or you can get kits that help you use that refine materials. That's just your refining kit. And there's lots of cool things. One of the coolest things in this game that I haven't done yet, but I've read about and I'm going to, going to do eventually, is the command center. Um, if you go to the um, help forum on the website, definitely check out the forums, by the way. The community on this game is awesome. Very, very good community. Definitely check it out. But um, if you craft this control center, it'll control things on your base, like drones and stuff, and they can keep your base in tip top shape because your tiles actually do get damaged. I haven't noticed much of it yet. And I don't know if that's because my location is in the first starting bi biome and it's pretty safe around here. But if you go down much deeper during, especially, especially during the night, um, some more, some mobs will come out in the day, but not many. You go out, especially during the night, it is dangerous. And I'm pretty sure they can damage blocks. Or certain ones can't. Actually, I, I can think of a couple that already can. This uh, one mob just actually just explodes and blows up everything around it. It's not really fun because he throws you at the wall like your tennis ball. So, <laughs> but as long as you don't get hit by him, you can uh, live. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. The game itself, though, the art style. I know I said earlier it kind of looked like Terraria, and by that I meant just more the shape of it. The art style itself, you can see the background stuff, is very original and I enjoy it. Um, I mean, I just like the way the game looks. It just looks really good. And it plays well, it's fun to play. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, um, it's definitely a unique game, and um, suggest it to everyone out there. I'm hoping today, I was going to go mining, like I said earlier, but I don't want to bore you guys, because mining can be a little bit boring. So let's see if I can find anything cool. Maybe a cave, because caves in this game can hold um, wormholes. Wormholes are, they are um, portals that you can go to other parts of the game, and you can go find uh, one of the coolest enemies, the laser shark. I'm not even going to start on them today, they're, they're pretty crazy. I haven't killed them yet, and I've had some, on other worlds, I've had a lot better items. But um, yeah, you can see right there, that's a crab. They're pretty, they can be pretty mean because they, you can't really, they're hard to shoot them. This is, up here, is one of the most dangerous ones in my opinion. This thing will drop bombs, I'll show you. Get it too. Got to wait for my energy to respawn, to respawn. Oh. The other person doing that. Okay, yeah, he's, he's blowing things up. There we go. He blew it up. I'm gonna see if I can trap one of those later and just mine with him. They definitely like to follow me. No! No! See, those are some um, damaged tiles right there. Um, if you haven't. No, actually, that's my first time seeing them. Let's use my repair laser, as you can see here. Well, was repairing the, okay, never mind. Never mind. That didn't work. Yeah. So whenever you die, you can either go to the master rods or your bound rods, because you can make multiple cyberpods. So I'll go ahead and go to the master rods because my house. It's a pretty sad event. I know. Anyway, one of my favorite things in the game is the power system. It's called Pios, and you can hit it using P. And if I had more power uh, stuff, you can take the connections and you can um, create things. And I actually, on other worlds, I don't know if I put a video up on here or not, but um, I've been able to make binary adders and subtractors. And eventually, my goal is to make a computer. I don't know how easy it'll be in this, 
especially because the limited dimensions, it's 2D obviously, 